Unfortunately, I've never been able to work with one hand. So when I start doing stuff, both hands start automatically flailing everywhere. Um, but it's running. <coughs> Excuse me. I can hear it running. So we're going to see. I'm going to get some eggs right now. And I'm going to fill it up and put the weight in it. And then see if I can't figure out. So I'm wondering if there's a there's a hole right here. I'm wondering if there's a screw in that or something. But that wouldn't make no sense because that moves up and down that little shaft. If this thing was longer, if this thing was longer, um, see it broke. The gear broke inside of this thing a while back. It didn't actually break. It just slipped off its mechanics, and I took it apart and fixed, put it back together. And when I did that, I guess I could have done something wrong. Because um, it just doesn't, it's just not fitting right. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. See how much of a gap there is in there it's a pretty big gap considering that thing is only that long so it's not um, see if this would stay over there like that I think it would not slip out as much but I don't see how you can make it do that all right, well, I'm going to fiddle with it. I'll be back. Let's see what I can figure out. If I can't figure out, I'll just I'll just put eggs in these these middle and leave the two outside ones alone and see if I can't get get that to work. But I'll be back. Start my selection of new eggs this time. And I heard that eggs that are pointy well, more than likely roosters. I don't know. Can you see this egg? Let's see here. Let's see if I can do this. I got two eggs here. See how this one on the right is is more pointy at the bottom, where this one here tends to be rounder. I don't know if it's the case, but I'm going to try to only use. See, here's another one. See how pointy it is at the bottom? They say those are roosters. I don't know if it's an old wives' tale or if it's true. Um, but we're going to go with it. We're going to try. to see if I... Now, is that one too pointy? I don't know. Um, I think I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> um, eggs are too hard to come by that are clean. So I think I'm just going to... Because I'm going to eat the roosters anyhow. But you want to put them in your your egg carton, point down, so that you get a, your your yolks get a good air sac up above. I don't know if that's, that's what I've heard, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to start collecting for the next three days or four days the eggs I'm going to put back in the hatch if the guinea eggs don't hatch or, or hatch, whichever they do. See if we can't get them all to stabilize it and it conform, you know, at a decent temperature before we shove them all into 100 degrees. But I'll be back. We'll see how it works. All right. We got 42 eggs in there. It's completely full. And we'll watch it as, as it goes. It's running. It's pretty quiet, but it's running. We'll watch and see. As it go, and I'll see if I can't figure out why it's popping loose. I wish I could just scoot this whole bar over a little bit. Um, but I don't see that that's really an option. Because that, that, that over there, this bar over here is not going anywhere. So... 
But that, you look down in there, that little stem is not over far enough. Or there was some sort of a little, I might go online and look, there might be some sort of little um, end that's supposed to be, that I lost, that's supposed to plug into that stem and right up and down that channel. See if I can hold it still enough so you can see what I'm talking about. Like it's going to focus any better. But I'll be back. Alright, well it's straight up and down now. At the bottom of the pendulum. And everything's level. So now we'll see what happens. Is this goes... It goes counterclockwise. Sorry, I got to remember where the camera is. It goes counterclockwise. So is that little lever starts going up it should ride in the track pretty good until it gets about at 45 degrees in other words when it gets at uh oh, nine o'clock when it gets at nine o'clock and starts from nine to twelve that tray is probably going to be at a serious tilt and that's usually where it jumps out i think but i'll keep watching it Sorry about that dirty egg. And sometimes the chickens like to. All right, well. <laughs> These chickens get scared in the heartbeat. I, um, I lost the panel. <laughs> Unfortunately, I got heavy handed and it broke. Um, there was a couple things that were a problem. This motor wasn't sitting flush with this. And so it kept this from extending all the way out. And you can see right there, there's a little screw that's attached to that motor was hitting the plastic and kicking the bottom of it out. So I dr drilled a relief hole. Um, I was trying to pull this out. Um, because I wanted to take this little collar and grind down so that this could scoot in farther. I don't know if that all makes sense. But in the process, and these things are supposed to come out. Um, but needless to say, it broke. So now I'll go to the store and see if I can't find out. I don't know if they make the plastic strong enough for that. Um, we'll find out. I'll find, see if I can find something to glue it. If not, I'll try to tap a little screw in the back side of it right there and try to screw it together. I don't know. Or I'll just leave it like that. And I could have uh, just, you know, not run uh, that many racks. Just run four racks instead of left the other two. But anyhow, needless to say, I think it'll work now because when it's trying to pull this, when it's if the lean that's got right here, when it's trying to pull it back up, it puts a lot of stress on this right here and it would just kick out. But if you're looking down in there now compared to what it did look like, it's way in there now. I don't think it's going to kick out, but I'll wait and see. Um, it's going down to the six o'clock position. And we'll see. <laughs> I don't want to buy another one. You know that stupid little thing right there is uh, 60 or $70? It's crazy. Oh, molded plastic. That motor right there is 20 bucks. And I don't think you can buy just these. I haven't been able to find them yet. Unless you found somebody had an old one. And you could just tear one out. Um, but they snap into place. I don't know how you get them out. I tried to get it out delicately. and well, Sometimes I guess I'm not that delicate. <laughs> I laid carpet and flooring for 30 years. I never uh, 
you had you, you were pretty brutal when you when you were laying carpet and stuff. But anyhow, we'll see if this works like it is, and if it does right now, I can get what is that? 35 eggs. Yeah, seven times five. 